So I get asked the question a lot. Should I have a radon test on a house with a crawl space? Now, the short answer to that is you still can have high radon readings on houses with crawl spaces. However, you will be less likely. Reason being is because this is a pretty standard East Tennessee crawl space that we're seeing on the screen. This is loose plastic vapor barrier on the soil, block foundation wall, wood frame floor system with insulation between the floor trusses. Radon is a naturally occurring gas that comes out of the ground. It happens outside of the houses and it happens underneath our houses. When it comes underneath this crawl space and it comes around the loose edges of that plastic and it gets and mixes with the air of the crawl space, that air is going to follow the path of least resistance. That's going to be out of the crawl space vents. It's naturally going to want to move here as opposed to trying to push up into the house. You have insulation under the floor, you have decking down for your floor system, and then you have a floor covering on top of that carpet, hardwood, tile, laminate, whatever it may be. You have this barrier between your house and your crawl space, so the air is naturally going to go, want to go outside as opposed to trying to push up through. It's not a perfect seal, and there will be some communication between your crawl space and your house, which is why there's the potential for you to have high radon inside of the home. We don't really care if the radon is high in the crawl space, we just don't want it where we're going to breathe it. Now with all of that being said, it is possible to have those high radon readings inside of the house, and when you do have that on a crawl space home, the mitigation for that's going to be a little bit more expensive, typically. Let's take a look at what a standard mitigation system will entail. This is my house as it was being constructed. This is a block foundation wall, and when, then I've got a concrete slab that was poured inside. This is during the uh, construction phase. They had gravel down, they were putting the vapor barrier and the insulation down, and then we poured concrete over the top of that. <clears throat> when my house was constructed, we had a pre-plumbed radon pipe that was installed. That's one of these two pipes here. They took that pipe and it runs underneath the slab um, and down into the gravel base below all of that insulation and below the vapor barrier. It goes underneath all of this. And then they took that pipe and they extended it through my house, up through the attic space, and then inevitably through the roof. This is the final product here. Right here is this pipe penetrating through the roof there. So that pipe extending down into the slab this is a depressurization system. Any radon that's coming underneath my slab, it's going to flow through atmospheric pressure. It's going to rise and go up out of that pipe. If I have high radon readings inside of my house, I can attach a fan to that pipe in the attic space here and create suction. And it will create suction beneath this whole slab. So it will not only get the radon that's coming around this immediate area, which it's currently doing, but it will start to create a suction around this whole slab. So we're pulling that radon through that pipe and ejecting it out through the roof so it doesn't come into our house where we can breathe it. Now, if we go back to the crawl space situation, we've got loose plastic on the ground. Like I said, the edges aren't sealed off. If we have to put a mitigation system in here, what the EPA tells us that we have to do is we have to create a barrier between the soil and the crawl space. So that vapor barrier has to be thicker and it has to be sealed. It's going to look similar to these photos. This is a crawl space as well, but notice the red tape, those are on the edges of that vapor barrier and then you can see the metal trim around the top. There's actually an adhesive under there too. The dirt in this particular crawl space is completely sealed off from the crawl space environment. That's when you come in and you install that same system, the radon vent uh, pipe and fan, and then you extend that pipe and you run it underneath the plastic, like this right here. That's what this pipe is running through this crawl space. Notice the edges of the vapor barrier sealed. They took this one and ran it up the wall. And notice that the vapor barrier is uh, wrapped around that pipe. Um, it's actually, with suction, it's created uh, it's created suction to pull that plastic down around the pipe. That's showing us that the pipe running underneath the vapor barrier and the fact that the vapor barrier is all sealed, it creates suction. So now we're pulling from underneath the plastic. We're not creating some negative pressure in the crawl space or inside of the home. 
we're pulling only the air from that crawl, uh, the, the dirt, and inevitably the radon, and we're taking that and we're ejecting outside. This is why, and this is what the EPA wants us to do for radon mitigation systems in crawl spaces, and this is why typically if you do have high radon readings on crawl spaces, it's generally going to be a little bit more expensive to mitigate because you have to create all of this as opposed to just drilling a hole or, or attaching a uh, fan to a pre-plumbed pipe. You have to do a little bit more on the front end to create that barrier between the crawl space environment and the dirt where the radon is coming from.